In this video, I want to talk about conversions as associated with capacity or volume. So I've uh, copied and pasted some images from Google. This picture is, seems to be, this is a one teaspoon, TSP, and this is half a teaspoon. This seems to be half a teaspoon. Now, teaspoon is used in cooking. Uh, but the standard unit of uh, capacity of volume is liters. Okay, so yeah, or milliliters. So one, this is something uh, something that's useful. You should know one teaspoon is not exactly, but about five five milliliters. This is five milliliters. One teaspoon is five milliliters. So half a teaspoon would be how much? Half a teaspoon, TSP stands for teaspoon, is 2.5 milliliters. So I'll uh, come to milliliters later. So this is one tablespoon. This is one tablespoon. I don't know the short form of tablespoon. Maybe it is TS. Okay, I don't know. One tablespoon is about 15 milliliters liters one tablespoon is 15 about 15 milliliters now this is a jug okay this is a jug so in which unit would you measure a jug well the unit that you would measure would be in liters l for liters so this may be about how much uh, this may be about say five liters okay i don't know five or 15 so let me make it 15 so this is again a paint container this is also measured in liter and the uh, the letter that we use for liter is l and this may be about say 10 milli sorry 10 liters not milliliters 10 liters i'll talk about the conversion later on this is a ice container sorry ice cream container so this is also measured in liters. Okay, so this may be about, say, say, five liters. I don't know, five liters. Now, this is a petrol tank. This is a petrol tank. And the unit of, you measure a petrol tank in kiloliters. Kiloliters. And kiloliters, you write by KL. Okay, so let me give you the conversion the basic conversion so this is something you should remember one liter is the basic unit so one liter is 1000 milliliters 1000 milliliters one liter contains 1000 milliliters and one kiloliter is thousand liters so this is all that you need to remember from milliliters to liters to kiloliters. So to it will be good always to draw a conversion circle, a conversion chart. So this is say from liters to milliliters. So let me draw the whole thing together. Uh, okay, so let me you know do in two separate circles so that will not confuse you. Suppose you want to convert from liters to milliliters or li milliliters to liters. So from liters to milliliters, the unit is smaller, but the number is going to get bigger. So you have to times it by 1,000. Can you see? One, this is one liter is 1,000 milliliters. So though 1,000 is how many times of one? Well, that's 1,000 times. So that's why you times it by 1,000. And if you want to go backwards from 1,000 to 1, what would you do to 1,000 to get to 1? Well, you have to divide by 1,000. So you have to divide by 1,000. So this is how I remember from liters to milliliters. The number is going to get bigger, so you have to times it by 1,000. And from milliliters to liter, the number is going to get smaller, so you have to divide by 1,000. Okay, so now from kiloliters to liters. If from kiloliters to liters, what's going to happen? Is the number going to get bigger or smaller? 
yes it's going to get bigger by how many times thousand times so you have to times it by thousand and from liters to kiloliters it's going to get thousand times smaller so you divide by thousand so if you remember this much and for every question if you have this in your mind you don't need to ask whether you have to multiply or divide so let's do some questions 6.9 liters okay so from liters you want to change into milliliters so you have to multiply so it's 6.9 times 1000 so i'll get my calculator out okay so let me move my calculator so so 6.9 times 1000 which is 6900 milliliters 6,900 milliliters. Now from kiloliters, you want to change into liters. What's going to happen? Is the number going to get bigger or smaller? From, kilolit from kiloliters to liters, it's going to get bigger. So the same process, it is 7.2 times 1,000. Use your calculator. So let me show you a different small calculator. So this is 7.2 times 1,000 is 7,200 liters, 7,200 liters. Okay, question number three, from milliliters to liters. So what is, from milliliters you want to change into liters, what would you do? The number is going to get smaller by 1,000, 1,000 times smaller, so it would divide by 1,000. So this is 350 divided by 1000. So let's get the calculator uh, where it's cancel. Uh, I can't see the cancel. Uh, okay, yes. So, so 350 divided by 1000, which is 0 0.35 milli sorry three zero point three five liters again from milliliters to liters what would you do you divide by thousand so you can use a calculator the answer would be zero point four two five liters from liters to kiloliters you want to change from liters to kiloliters so let's go back to the chart from liters to kiloliters so what are you going to do you're dividing by thousand so if you divide this by 1,000, you can use a calculator, so it will be 7.435 kiloliters. Now from kiloliters to liters, is the number, so let's do without looking at the chart, is the number going to get bigger or smaller? Well, it's going to get bigger. So it will times it by, it will times this by 1,000. So this will be 3,950 liters okay one more question from liters to milliliters is the number going to get bigger or smaller well it's going to get bigger from liters to milliliters times it by thousand so it's 1270 milliliters okay so you can make up your own problems and do the uh, remaining problems yourself